Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to do that new silhouette trend on TikTok. The process is pretty easy, but I'll show you how to do it both on an iPhone and an Android, starting off with our iPhones. So the very first thing you wanna do, let me turn on the brightness. So the first thing you wanna do is either use Snapchat or Instagram. In this specific case, I'll go ahead and use Snapchat. You need the app Snapchat, and you also need iMovie, some other type of video stitching software. iMovie is free, so you might as well use that. It looks like this. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your Snapchat account, or like I said, any other video editing app, and you want to go ahead and film yourself in the specific way that the silhouette challenge is. As you know, it's like you kind of going in front of the camera and doing whatever. can't really demonstrate that right now, but go ahead and do that. And you want to go ahead and film the video that way. So you can also flip it to your front camera, lock it that way as well. And if it starts by you recording it by accident, you can go ahead and kind of keep it there. We can shut it down and kind of, you know, splice it up a little bit later. So you want to go ahead and get that first portion of your video done. And then you want to go ahead and save that specific video. Now, once you're done with that, what you want to do is you can go ahead and exit out of this story and you want to browse for the red effect under filters. So what you want to do is you want to click on this little smiley face right here. And what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and swipe up and it'll come into the little filter gallery. So all you have to do here is go ahead and click on the search bar, type in red, and you'll basically be able to see some type of red filter, red sparkles, I think is the one. So now you'll see once you do it, I guess the sparkles is kind of annoying, but it's the best one that we got, I guess, right now. So all you would have to do in this case is go ahead and, you know, kind of, you know, record the video. Again, I think you might have to, you know, update Snapchat to actually get that specific red filter that's going on. So let's say this was that specific one. You want to go ahead and click that save button. Go ahead and hop out of here. Now, if this specific method isn't good for you, you can also go ahead and swipe out of here and you can actually make your way over to your Instagram app if you want the other red filter. So go ahead and get into Instagram. You want to go ahead and swipe onto your left side. And then what you want to do is get into your filters. So you want to click on filters. Then you want to go ahead and click on, you know, browse other filters, which is right here. And then what you want to do is go ahead and click on the little search bar up here. And then you want to go ahead and type in red and you will see that a new red option such as this one will come up. You want to go ahead and click try it. And then you'll basically see that the red option will basically come up. Now, typically it may take a second or two. There we go. It just enabled. So this one, you can go ahead and click here, go ahead and record it. So again, it's kind of like the same thing, but a little bit different. So you want to go ahead and record your silhouette challenge in this specific instance. So go in front of the camera, do whatever you got to do. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and click save for this video and then go ahead and click allow. So there's two different ways of going about it in this specific case. In this case, this is more like the silhouette challenge than the other one that I showed you, but both are still fine. So now what you want to do is hop out of here. You want to go into iMovie, which is the app we're using here. But again, you can use a different one. You want to go and create a new project, click create a new movie, and you want to select the specific you know, ones that we wanted to do. So let's say we wanted to bring these two in, these two videos, the first real one and the second one that was like kind of a little different. You want to go ahead and click create movie, which is right here. And then at this point, you're pretty much done. As you can see, it'll go ahead and transition from here to here. And then at this point, all you have to do is go ahead and click done. You want to go ahead and click share, which is right here, aka export, save video. And it may take a second for it to, you know, actually save the video. As you can see, it's saved to our library. So now all we have to do is make our way over to TikTok. And all we have to do here is, I guess, cancel this, click the plus button down here, go and click upload, and find that specific silhouette challenge video that we just did. And as you can see, you can go ahead and upload this. Now, like I said, it's not like the best video ever, but it works in this case. And you can go ahead and delete the transitions and all that. But that's exactly how to do it on an iPhone. Now, on an Android, it's a little bit different, but it's also kind of like the same thing. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go on your Android device in order to do the silhouette challenge. And before we did use Snapchat, and as you saw, that specific filter was a little bit different. So in this specific case, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use Instagram instead. So we're going to go into our Instagram little app, which is right here. Make sure you're logged in and everything. Now, as you can see, I already had the filter up. But let's go and hop out of here. And let's say we're back on the front page just like this. You want to swipe to the left. And what you want to do is you want to start off by filming the standard video that you normally would do. So just go ahead and do the, you know, regular silhouette challenge that you would, you know, standardly do, whatever you would call it. And then once you're done, go ahead and save this video out. Again, if you know what the silhouette challenge is, it's you in front of the camera. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. So now what you want to do is hop out of here. Go and click discard because you already saved that video. And now you want to go ahead and add the red filter, add the red effect. So in order to do this, what you want to do is click on a filter. It can be anyone. You want to go and click here. And then what you want to do is you want to click browse effects. And then at this point, all you have to do is click on the search bar up here. You want to type in right here and you want to type in red. So just like this, you want to type in red 
and you will go ahead and see all these type of red filters. Now there's a couple of different ones. There's this one, there's this one right here. I would honestly probably recommend this one because it's the first one up there. You wanna go and click it, click try it, and now your whole entire filter will be red. So all you have to do at this point is to pretty much record yourself. This also works on the front camera. Record yourself going in front of the camera, doing whatever with the silhouette challenge is, and then you would just have to go ahead and when you're ready, go ahead and start recording. You can also lock the recording. So again, it's a little bit different. You're gonna to have to kind of tinker with it a little bit later. But once you go ahead and get that red, you know, specific one done, all you have to do is go ahead and save that story now. So go ahead and save that story. It'll go and process it. Now you can go and hop out of here. Now here's a little bit of a different thing. So in this specific case, in order to stitch these videos together, there are some built-in apps that some Android phones have, but not all of them have. You, I typically use an app called UCut. You don't have to use it. You can use any other video editing app. You can even bring it to your iPhone, iPad. You can bring it to your tablet. You can even bring it to your PC and stitch the videos that way together. So whichever way you want to go ahead and combine these videos, go for it. I'm not telling you to do one way or the other. In this specific case, we're going to go ahead and use the UCut one. So in this case, go ahead and download this app. It's called UCut. I'll you know, go ahead and pause the video if you want to keep going from it. You want to go ahead and click the plus button down here. And here you want to go ahead and just combine or just click on the videos that you want to bring in. So in this case, it hopefully allows me to select multiple. So I'll click this one and this one. So once I have these two videos together, I can go and click there and you will see that it'll actually go ahead. When I go ahead and play the video, it'll look pretty much just like this. So it'll go from that video to this one. Now again, this specific one is a little bit, you know, messed up because it's not really like the silhouette challenge, but the filters are there. So once I'm, you know, go ahead and once I'm ready, I can go ahead and click the save button, I think, which is right here. It'll go ahead and allow me to save the video and it'll go ahead and save it right into my gallery. So what's gonna happen here is, as you can see, whatever, it'll go ahead and save it. So what I can do now is make my way over to my gallery app. And just to verify, I wanna make sure that video is here. As you can see, that video is here. So now all I have to do is make my way over to TikTok. And you would obviously have to sign in and everything, but I'm just gonna do it on my iPhone. Once you have that video up, you just have to go into TikTok on any type of phone, it doesn't matter. You want to go and click that plus button right here, and you would click upload, which is right here, and find that specific video we just did. Click next, make sure everything looks good. Click next again, and upload the video. And that's pretty much the silhouette challenge. Now you can see it did kind of crop my video out, so you may have to tinker it a little bit, but that's pretty much how to do it on both an Android and iPhone. Quite a bit of a process, I'm not gonna lie, to take a minute, but that's pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that like button or definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much for you guys to hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else. I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.